Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. My name is Derek Ray and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. I'm directly looking forward to bringing you live coverage of this match being played in Serie A. It is Torino versus Sampdoria. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And they kick off here. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. And a look at the starting lineup for Torino. Per Schurz plays with Ricardo Rodriguez in the fullback positions, and the striker is Antonio Sanabria. A routine save. A real room for improvement in front of goal where the visitors are concerned. They have, officially speaking, the worst attack in the league. Well, quite oh, the chance is on, Stuart. Still alive. Oh, majestic finish. He's going to be rightly proud of that moment. Magnificent. Well, what a piece of skill this is. It had everything. Agility, technique and power. It's a great goal. again with the scoreline standing at 1-0 Rincon Villar Augello good use of the ball but can they trouble the defence well I think a classic commentator's curse just then couldn't make the ideal pass it's a weighted pass. Radonjic. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Villar. Now options are plenty. Gonzalo Villar. And taken away. He won the ball. Villar the, 
the ball with Lukic well visionary passing well the keeper was called upon and delivered well he's so good in those 1v1 moments and he's proved it yet again Played over. Now that was never likely to trouble the keeper. Really good interception. Carolinetti. Radonjic. Oh, surely. Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Capuso on attacking possibilities able to deal with the threat well he's allowed it to go over the touchline so a throw in well there you can see it the hosts haven't been able to control possession but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. And they have possession again. Now, what can they do from here? And the pass could do damage. And still danger here. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Well, that was a great save. But the way they're playing at the moment, the equaliser can't be far away now. Read it well, intercepting it. Sasha Lukic. Linetti. Crossing opportunity. And that'll be a Torino ball. Just the clearance that was called for. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Oh, managing to beat him. Surely! That is that for the first half here. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in this second half. This looks promising. Not really the ideal clearance. And a time for calm on the ball. Antonio Sanabria. Can they hit on the break? Defenders need to cover. Well, not a great ball played in. Failed to keep hold of it. How can he take them on and beat them? Well, it came to nothing in the end. And it's a quality pass. And he's apparently veered into an offside position, Stuart. Well, that's tight, really tight. But he was just too anxious to make his run. He was in, though. <laughs> 
perfect challenge now let's see what they can do here Rincon this could square the game it's still alive well good defending clattered out of there really getting stuck in defensively Well, the visitors have controlled possession, as you can see, but most of their passing has been in deeper areas. Unless they start getting it into their front players, we better... Oh, good save. Excellent header. Physically strong and secure on the ball. Radonjic. The textbook interception. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Abdel Hamid Sabiri. Options in the middle. He's protecting it effectively. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. And out for a throw in. Just misfiring with the pass. So a personnel change then. Rincon and a tidy challenge and the counter looks on here options available and that pass could be troublesome well not the easiest of saves but you'd expect him to stop it if they can score again from this corner it probably would be the end of the story Playing it in. And given away. Well, shortly final whistle. The home side with the lead. Stuart, what have you made of this? Well, it's going to be a nervy end to this game. But if they do hold on, I think they've deserved their win. They've played really well and they've played some good attacking football. And in general, they've controlled the game. And just five minutes remaining. Aina. And it's with Sanabria. Here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Well, they've decided to make a change. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Sasha Lukic, and there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, I'm not sure how they're going to change things. There's no real pace in the team, they're not playing with any invention, and they just haven't got any game changers at the moment. They never really look like getting back into this game. <laughs> 